Philosophy of Hinduism by Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Question 4, Part 5. Caste prevents mobilization. Occasions arise when society must mobilize all its resources to one end in order to save from itself from a catastrophe. To take a catastrophe like war, society must mobilize all its resources for militarization. Everyone must do war. Everyone must be a soldier. Is this possible under the theory of caste? Obviously not. Indeed, the destiny of a defeat which has been the lot of India throughout history is due to caste. Caste prevented general, general mobilization, or the extent of mobilization were of, was of a very limited character. Only the Kshatriyas were expected to fight. The rest, the Brahmins and the Vaishyas were not armed, and the Shudras who formed the large majority of the country were disarmed. The result was that once the small class of Kshatriyas was defeated by the foreign foe, the whole country fell at his feet. It could not offer any resistance. It was not capable of resistance. Indian wars have been mostly wars of single battles or single campaigns. This was due to the fact that once the Kshatriyas fell, everything fell. Why? Simply because there was no general mobilization and the theory deeply embedded in the psychology of the people. If these conclusions are sound, how can a philosophy which dissects society into fragments, which dissociates work from interest, which disconnects intelligence from labor, which expropriates the rights of man to interests vital to life, and which prevented society from mobilizing resources for common action in the hour of danger, be said to satisfy the test of social utility? The end.